guys, welcome back to another edition of Rap Motor Works. We're back with a cutlass today, and we're doing some more work with that. Bits of odds and ends of you know, I'm gonna put a new battery tray in it. Already been doing some work on redoing the license plate holder and the turn signals. Uh, among other things, we've also got some carpet for the interior as well. So stay tuned as we're gonna get into that this episode. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of spray painting. Just um, after cleaning up some of these rusty parts. And uh, why not? If we can revive these pieces, that will be good. So, let's put like a little another dusting here on this. This uh, rust oleum is pretty good stuff. It's kind of this semi-gloss with primer. So, that's looking good. All right, cool. So one of the other things I just completed too is I put this um, new chrome plastic insert in there. So that's looking a little nicer. I've got all the materials now to put the glove box back together with a new glove box. So let's get into that and um, do a little vacuuming and button stuff up. Then we'll start yanking out the, the seats. Okay, this is the carpet. We have to put in the tellus later in the afternoon or in the next video, but, but this is the tarpet and we have it to put in the toes because the other ones were all the way worn out. Okay guys, we've got a glove box functional with a light. If I had the battery hooked up, it'd be working. Either way, the cool thing is, is nice new mouse pee proof, mouse pee free glove box so that's great and uh, that complements nicely with the uh, new chrome trim so yeah things are starting to look up and boy was that a lot of work getting that thing in I had to use a bunch of picks to try to orientate the bolts um, but yeah it's good so and then this is of course sealed as well too as I use some of that um, 3m um, uh, emblem clear adhesive so uh, that's good and I think this is kind of coming up too so I think when I go to pull out the radio at some point too I'll have to do a little bit of fastening on that so but uh, every little detail counts as we're starting to get things pulled back together here so let's start um, working on other things like yanking this console out and these seats and getting this nasty carpet out so it's really 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 bad as you guys can probably see here so you all right okay guys I started to get the uh, back seat out just uh, well I'd probably don't need it out to do the carpet but it's gonna be so much easier working without it in there so and who knows what lurks below so let's find out Yeah, back seat. Really yeah. Well, it doesn't look too bad in here. Seat belts, which is another thing I wanted to get at. But one of the good things is I was expecting some kind of mouse house on the seat, and I didn't see anything. So that's promising. Seat belt. 
from this side too. And if you are a member of the wildest club in town, the National Zoo. And look, 75 cents. Woo woo! Hold that. So the National Zoo, via Fonz, <laughs> one could only assume that's from back in the day of Happy Days. Other than that, it's uh, pretty clean back here. So that's good. And I think we're going to end up soaking the seatbelts in some nice warm water and don dishwashing soap anyways. So, so that's cool. All right, I think we'll leave the back seat on for now. But, uh, yeah, we'll, let's do a... So I'm working on getting the front seats out now, so that'll be uh, definitely the next thing here is starting to take those out. Okay guys, we have got the seats out of the car. We got the seat belts out. And lo and behold, what do we have here? Mouse house! Another mouse house. Oh right, no. Right there. So I think that's our fourth mouse house. I think it is if we're keeping track, that's our fourth mouse house. So. so and that was a part of the reason for getting some of this stuff out of the interior. Um, White dye always sold you guys. Yeah. White dye always sold you. Yeah, so that was like one of the things because uh, there's um, just way too much, uh, I don't know, mousy smell in this car still. And this front right is all trash. And I'm assuming at some point the, uh, the heater core uh, was leaking at some point, uh, but it might have been the mouse house in the glove box too that was dropping all kinds of pee. But um, let's get this console out. Watch out, there's a screw in there. So we'll get the console out next, and then we'll start taking out the carpeting. And definitely looking at this carpeting, we're going to have to make. Uh, we're going to have to save the carpeting for a template, believe it or not, because there's uh, it's it's not cut for the the buckets so yeah. we'll show some of that when we get into it but uh yeah so uh let's do that let's get the mouse house done yay okay we got the console out junior just like done got done vacuuming it now he's gonna detail it with uh, the scrub brush and a little bit of dawn but there is the carnage folks it's out of there and there's our mouse house 
So that'll take out a lot of the stanch as uh, along with the carpeting. So uh, let's start taking out all the other seat belts, which is I think the next thing. And we'll get that going. Okay guys, the carpet is out and this side was the most trashed. There's like some kind of a, I don't know, heat or some kind of carpet insulation on. And there was like this side too, but I already ripped it out. But um, uh, I think we'll try to do something on the driver's side too um, and get that out. But it was some kind of like a, a matty thing. So I'm gonna look at the new carpet and see if it's got anything. Maybe potentially it's a good thing to put something down just because of the heat from the motor. Um, but yeah, so we are getting there for sure. And as you can see on this stuff, it's actually just kind of like a, a layer of, of insulation or some kind of a mat. This seems to be in decent shape here. So maybe I'll just leave it. And uh, I just ripped out the pieces below. The there's there's a couple of bolts to take out here, but I just yanked it down. When I go to install it, I'll take out the the, the kick panels as well too. So, but yeah, the nice thing is is everything looks pretty solid, and uh, I don't see any rust holes or any other issues. So other than that, it's a big, just a cleanup job now. So let's get the shop back in here and go to town. Okay guys, uh, this is the other thing I, I got a new uh, windshield washer jug. That's the battery tray and like I said, I still got to drill out and uh, tap those holes. Yeah, with an easy out and that's not going to be a fun job. But uh, I think that's going to do it for us today. And we got the interior knocked out. That's right. And we got a lot of things done in the interior actually. We got that glove box back together. We got all kinds of stuff out of the inside and we're ready for carpet, right? Yeah. So. We have the tarpon inside like I showed you later in the other part of the video. That's right. Okay guys, well thanks for coming along today and catch us on the next video as we'll definitely be putting the carpet in. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. We got a lot of good content coming with the Cutlass and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.